so in this unit 5 now we are going to discuss about the acid rain and the ozone layer depletion so what is an acid rain the rain water we supposed to we believe that the rain water is a pure water its pH will be approximately 7 but due to the presence of atmospheric pollution pollutants the pH of the rainwater level goes below 6.5 in the other 6 we call that is acidic so the rainwater which is at the pH level of less than 6.5 we classify them as acid rain so which is responsible for an acid rain the two important oxides are responsible for acid rain one is the oxide of nitrogen NO2 or NOx we can say and oxide of sulfur SO2 produce these things are mainly produced by coal petroleum combustion of these fossil fuels so these oxides dissolve in water that is rain water and forms an acid like nitric acid and sulfuric acid and reaches the earth along with the rainwater as acid rain what is the mechanism how these things are produced so these oxides NO2 and SO2 in atmosphere is mainly due to the exhaust from the thermal power plant industries vehicles etc so the presence of these oxides is unfavorable it's not good for the atmosphere when the water droplets comes what will happen this SOX and combines with this H2O and which produces sulfuric acid and nitric acid which combines the rainwater makes the rainwater is more acidic so like this SOX and NOX combine the water molecule to produce this so these are mainly produced by vehicular pollution and the industries so the rain comes as acid rain so what are the effects of acid rain so there are several effects particularly for human beings it destroys our nervous system our digestive system and also the respiratory thing causes a premature death due to this heart lungs disorder they are frequently drinking this acidic water we get a lot of uh, medical problems so what happens to the building when the acid rain falls over the building definitely the building gets corroded certain materials get corroded for example Taj Mahal is made up of calcium carbonate it is insoluble in water but when the acid rain falls the sulfuric acid falls over the calcium carbonate what happens the calcium carbonate has been converted into calcium sulfate and it's been corroded the issue was faced in years before and the Uttar Pradesh government has banned certain leather tanning industries around Agra so statues get corroded bridge materials metals get corroded destruction of paint stones etc the same way the ecosystem that is lake and terrestrial ecosystem get affected the plant get affected soil mainly gets affected the soil becomes acidic so crop yield get be disturbed so droughtness diseases may occur rate of photosynthesis get from the lake water becomes acidic so fishes can't able to live with the acidic water so these things will create so on aquatic animals the, the pH level of the water gets decreased it becomes acidic so it affects the fishes plants aquatic animals so there are many effects like this as we move on to ozone layer depletion what is ozone? Ozone is a triatomic oxygen, O3. Ozone is mainly present in stratosphere, in the atmosphere. There are different layers, troposphere, stratosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere, like that. So, the ozone present in stratosphere, it is, it is a ozone layer is present from 25 to 35 kilometers from the head surface so it's an important layer this layer prevents us from 
the harmful ultraviolet radiation which comes out from the sun. So nowadays the ozone layer becoming thinner and thinner. Due to this, we are getting many problems like skin cancer, eye diseases, DNA, genetical modifications, plants and animals, etc. So what happens? The refrigerator act and distance. We have an aerosol play like CFC chlorofluorocarbon. When the chlorofluorocarbon released into the ocean, sorry, in the atmosphere, the chlorine combines with the O3 and the chlorine takes an oxygen and it becomes CLO, that is monochloride. The CLO again takes another atmospheric oxygen, ozone, it gets CLO2. Then, like this, the ozone gets goes on depleting. The ozone oxygen is being converted into CLO. The reversible reaction will not take place. Several ozone molecules get depleted like this, like a chain reaction. So, 1% loss of O3, which results in 2% increase in ultraviolet radiation, which reaches the Earth's surface. So, ozone depleting chemicals. What are the chemicals which deplete ozone? One is CFC, chlorofluorocarbon, and HCFC, hydrochlorofluorocarbon, and BFC, bromofluorocarbon. Sometimes, uh, the sulfur oxides, the sulfur oxide which is converted into sulfuric acid in the presence of uh, moisture, which increases the rate of ozone layer depletion. So what are the effects? What are the effects which we face due to the ozone layer depletion? The one, the major effect is uh, to human, UV rays causes skin cancer. So prolonged exposure to UV layer leads to actinia. So blindness, there is slow blindness, cataracts. Dark to the aquatic system, phytoplankton get affected, fishes get affected, decrease in the population of phytoplankton happen. Effects on materials, degradation of paints, plastics, polymeric materials, effect on climate that is leads to global warming, increase in the amount of CO2. How can we control that? We have to stop using ozone depleting substance. Use of methyl bromide, which is a crop to begin, should be controlled. Replacing CFC by other materials, which is a less damage. Ozone depleting substance should be banned. So, with this, thank you. See you in the next class.